Hey there, so we're gonna do an eyeshadow palette collection um, for my, see what we have in my stash. I do have one palette coming to me in the mail, which is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise. And that is taking me three different recordings to try and remember that name, by the way. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm going to, when I come back, the next slide, I will be showing stuff because I have this situated. Okay, so we're gonna start off with now I call I buy products I like that work well for me. I like to try and do different things. I also like to buy collabs from YouTubers on here. Uh, so like I have Calvin D, I have Jeffree Star. I know some of you disagree with Jeffree Star, which I do too. But I like his eyeshadow formula, and I'm a consumer. And does that excuse what he does? No. Okay. And that's all I want to say on that, because we're drama free here. We're here for good quality products, expensive, cheap, and in between. So on that note, I will start showing. So we have the Elf Times J Kiss -a palette. I'm further back to normal so I can show you because I have some pretty large ones. This is, oh, look at all those great colors. Now I do have a lot of, a lot of repeating palettes. I have like, 82 is what I think I counted. So I will have 83 when the new elf comes in. Yes, how how do I use all of these, you ask? Well, I tell you, I do full glam and makeup five to six days a week for my work. I work in a factory setting. I don't even care, I still wear it, even with a mask on. Boom, we are there. Oh, the highlight, that is so pretty. Okay, distracted, sorry, I'm like a cat. So we have, this is one of my new ones. Had a nude, the inside. And I also have this taped, as you can see. And that's because that's a concealer. And since I'm not using it now, right now, I don't want to get any of this into there and to dirty it up or get dirt or dust in there. So just in case you have that. I'm just setting them to the side of me because it's a lot. <laughs> We have Darcy. This was hard to find and track down, but I found it on Macari. 36 bucks. She didn't want it. All right, store. I'll buy it below buying price. Ooh. I do like these. If you put these yellow, okay, so any yellows, if you put those over a white concealer, a white base, it will pop and you will get that yellow you are looking for. So that's one thing. I do like this, it's so summer. Now I don't, <laughs> I wear palettes, any color, any scheme, any time of the year. Because that is who I am as a person. I'm all over the place. I go by my mood in the morning. So we have, this is the Pacifica Animal Magic Palette. I actually have a look already up on my channel. This is amazing. It's 20 bucks and you can get this one at Ulta. Love it. Use it. Why so far? I try to use a palette. Oh, it slid to the floor. Actually, you know what? Pop back in the frame. Okay, you know what? That's a good idea. I'll just set them on the floor, I mean, and then I'll just have a big, giant, chaotic mess to clean up their bed. Okay, so we had the James Charles Mini, which I'm so glad this came out at such a good time. Cause I really didn't want to buy the bigger version, but I wanted the version, you know what I mean? And this is quite nice. Some of them are a little patchy and a little hard to blend. Uh, that's okay, I don't mind working and building up. Uh, I do get some use out of these. It's just really hard to tell. I actually, I used to go real light-handed, but then I, well, I don't know where the stack then I kind of quit because I have so many palettes and I'm okay with if I hit pan because realistically, I know that I probably have those shades several times over. Like I said, consumerism at its best right here. So with starting a channel for fun, for eye, I mean, for eyeshadow and just makeup in general is good for me because I'll get more use out of my palettes. Okay, so we have his the cremated palette. Oh my god, I used this for a solid week when I got it, and I didn't, did not know if I would use it that much, but I did. 
so with uh, this shade right here, so with his new formulas, with this one, kind of made my eye, kind of gave it like a, like a, like a stinging sensation for like a bit after I used it, but then it was like gone. It didn't last long. My eyes are sometimes sensitive because of my allergies, so to that. Jawbreaker is my first one of this. My husband got it for me. And I'll show you why. It's so pretty. I've used this so much. Some of my stars are starting to wear off. I love this thing. Alright. One of my newer ones here. See? Ultimate. Next ultimate utopia. And you're icing yourself. Oh my god. Why do you have two pants already? You just got a new thing. Well, it came busted. So you're a little busted. So these two shades. So I called for a refund, but they didn't have any stock. I'd rather just have two shades broken instead of not having the palette at all, if that makes any sense. But as you can see, there's still product in there. So I'll just use it on my inner corner, which I did. I used this today, so I'm wearing. Wow. Blends so good. I actually have this shade on my inner corner. So I love this. I might have to get the other two. Do I need them? Absolutely not. I'm also trying to go on a little buy too. Like a real little buy. So I can, you know, we'll see how that goes. Then I have the modern grammar. And you're like, oh god, this is new too, by the way. And you're probably asking yourself, why is it taped? My mailman's a little rough. So she a little busted too. But that's okay. Just look at that color scheme. Oh gosh. Look, we do like neutrals, fun, bright, poppy. We do a little grungy over here. Ah, I love it. But it closes half, half ass. That's okay. So use it. At least the shadows ain't busted. But you know what? I don't know. When we're talking about being a little busted, we can still give this some love, you know? You gotta toss the whole thing. You gonna repurchase it later down the line? Who knows? But that's okay. Then we have we have Love Struck from Girl Fusion. I'll just show you the inside because well, you know. I love these shadows, but this formula right here where it's like a little putty like. That's it. The blank fix emoji emoji. That is my face. Every time I see these putty like formulas. I mean, I still use them because I'm gonna get my money's worth, but. The glitter formulas ain't too bad either in the Profusion palettes. Uh, I do recommend using like a glitter glue if you have some. Because uh, I go, it'll probably stick better because when I have the glitter glue, it does crease on me. So there's that. Then we have the Starlet. I work a lot and it's my only hobby. I like this one too. Oh god, the green. Oh, it's like my favorite shade. Oh, I love a grungy look. I don't think did this have I don't think I ran into a putty formula in this one. But it's got the glitter in there too. Weird. I'm just gonna wipe my hand on my pants. Then we have Festival. Oh my gosh. I did a pretty pastel cotton candy look with this. I love it. And there's no glitter shades in this either. Yes. I don't mind the pressed glitter, but I prefer to not have a pressed glitter in my palette. You know what I mean? But I like this. Uh, I really like the yellow in it. And if it's got my favorite yellow, I would swatch it, but we'd be here all day. Because it's only the beginning of it. Of my beautiful collective stash. That's the good thing about powders. I know some people might go by the date on the back, you know, where it says 18 months. But really, if it still performs good and doesn't look funky, isn't getting funky in the pan, it'll last for years. I, You will see when I get to my drawers. Um, when I say drawers, don't think, well, you got big drawers. Nah, it's just small drawers. I have one from when I first got into makeup like four or five years ago and it still goes so well. 
So this is the ABH4. Ooh, this is so pretty. I love it. You can see, I love bright shades. I love, I love having a soul fiction. And then we have volume two. Oh, bring it open. <laughs> now the shimmers in these palettes aren't as impressive as the mattes, but if you use your finger, and if you can find a good solid brush to work with it, I say you're golden. So just, you just pack them on with your finger, you'll get what you're trying to get out of it. And then we have Alvina Volume 3. This is my favorite one. Oh gosh, beautiful. And it's the same thing with the, the shimmers in this one too. Then we have, I do own a, a good portion of Morph palette. Uh, I like more palettes, but what I don't agree with is their brushes. Uh, my white bristle brushes, I just, I can't even. And then we have the Morph Times Jeffrey. This is about a hit and miss. Some of the shades are a little patchy, but if you build them up, you'll work with them. It's just fine. You won't even notice. Here's that. I'm just stacking them around everywhere. And we have 35M, which is, oh, it's upside down. Can't open if it's upside down. You can really tell I've been using this. I try to, I clean as I go. And I don't like it when they're dirty. I don't know, I just like them looking pristine. I think this, yeah. These are pretty good. Uh, this is a little harder to work with. So if you're a beginner, you probably don't want to pick this one up. Because these shades do take some work and some blending. And some of them, they're a little patchy too when I say like they take some work. Um, yeah. But I, I still like it though. It's beautiful. And we have 30, what's it? Oh, 3502. <laughs> My finger was on it. I was like, oh, what is this one? It's called Second Nature. This I use when I feel like I just I just want something leaf. This this palette just reminds me of like fall leaves. And I just love it. So every time I think of this, I get this a feeling of crunchy leaves beneath my feet. Love it. Then we have the Jaclyn Hill wine palette. I waited forever to get this just because there's so many mixed reviews. I love it. And to be honest with you, when I go into this, I like to go into like these like mats up here and I go in there and pop one of these shimmer shades in there. Uh, I don't know. I like to use these for my inner corners, you know. I just recently started doing that. I don't know. I don't really follow all the trends. I just kind of do whatever I feel like I'm doing and it looks good, you know. Then we have volume two. Oh, if you don't have this and you like brights, but you also want to do a, a slightly toned look, this. This is it. Uh, I love it. Then we have, uh, thanks to a good friend, the Alien Palette. I love sci fi, okay? I want about that sci fi. I love tie dye, hippie air, uh, aliens. Wow, Mulder is calling. That's what started it all. So whenever I use this, I think X-Files, and I'm like, Mulder, Scully, because they're always yelling for each other. So this is so good. So I use, even if, even with me having this channel, I would like to say I will still use older rigs, these things that have been discontinued, newer releases, you know, and I oh, like to be because I spend my money on it, and I want to keep it and use it, you know. And there's still people out there with palettes. This is Cavani's fetish palette. Oh man. <laughs> when you really want a goth, grungy look, I always go to this planet palette. Uh, I said planet, but I meant to say palette. I've had a long work day. Oh, and, um, and I'm in this maker group and we do swap boxes, like two a year, I think. And I got this in my swap box. It's the Pizza Glam Wine Palette. 
who doesn't want a pizza pie? I just got done eating pizza for dinner. Oh, God, that. Mesmerizing. It's almost like the pit in my screen. <laughs> Won't let go. Ooh. <laughs> it's beautiful. This, this video is going to be so long. I see why people do part two. We're not doing the part two here. All right. Uh, one of my newer ones, new to my collection. And when I say new, it's not because it, sometimes when I say new, it's yeah, it could, it could be released, but it could also be because it's newer to me. And this is newer to me. This is the 39S. Oh, I love this. Some of the shimmers I can't shimmer. I can't pick up on a brush, so you know. The good old finger. Works just fine. So that's what I used on that one. And then the last one in this first pack of ours is the 39A. I haven't used this yet, but I cannot wait to use this gem. These things are huge. Alright, so that is our first stack. Now we'll be right back. We have a palette. Okay, so when I said I like his formula, I wasn't lying. So we have Beauty Forest. Oh my god, I spent forever saving and collecting for these and working overtime. That's Beauty Killer. And Oh, this feels so nice, by the way. Can you see the texture on there? Ooh, I love this color scheme. I love how small and compact they are because now we're getting to the bulky ones. It's just gorgeous. I don't personally, I'm annoyed with this belt because if you're a pet owner, their hairs will stick to it no matter what you do. I've got this in a drawer, and their hair is still on there. Remember the Blake Figures emoji face? It's me. So, the inside. I actually, it doesn't look like you'll get so many different ones, but you do. And I have the same problem with um, the Shimmer 2 as I did in the, um, oh, cremated. So I had the same problem with that. But it's not like every time I use the palette, I don't understand, but whatever. Still gonna use it. We have this bulky, we're doing the bulky palettes. I have a drawer just for bulky, weird palettes that are thick. So we have, look at this. Mm. Look, you get like a neutral, cool pink, dark red. Versatile. We like versatility here. Okay. This was one, this was such a hard one to get a hold of. No conspiracy. That plays into my alien sci-fi. Would you look? Oh, so pretty. I mean, from someone who's not really creative, you can look. You'll look at this. You'll be like. You can do like orange corner, you know, your outer corner, pop down on the lid. That would look so cute. You can do pink outer corner, pop this on an inner, inner crease, outer crease. Oh. Or you can do like blue crease, outer corner, lid. You know what I mean? Now look, you got a whole row where you can just do neutral looks. You know, I might have to, I might have to pull this back out. Haven't used it for a minute. Then we have blue blood. It's one of my second ones. Actually, I actually bought this for, I had to get it for one of my friends. Okay, she loves blue, she haven't had blue. Look at this beautiful bad boy. Look, if you use these two colors, this one, these two, and that. Neutral look, oh, neutral look. Oh. I love the versatile look. I love the versatile palettes. So that was that one. Oh my lord, we're on the last drawer, guys. Oh. So 
I have no idea how to pronounce it. If you can, let me know. And it's called, it's like a dupe. It's my only dupe. Yeah, it's my only dupe palette I have. And I will one day have the, the color version of this. But this is actually good quality. The pigment is good in this. So that's on my bucket list. Then when I compare, set looks, compare looks. So you have L's, Earth, Earth and Ocean. Oh my gosh, it's so good. L's is really, really getting it. Here's this one. Then we have 18 Hit Wonders. Get it open. I love this shade. It's so nice. And now I so that's like my favorite shade out of the palette. Then we have the noon, the new classics, and we're feeling noon. I love how there's like a green in here. It's called the new nudes. Or the new classics. Duh. She said that, whatever. I love how there's like these greens. Sorry, I got interrupted. I love how there's like there's there's gold, orange, these greens, like some pinks. It's a new nude palette. I like this though. I don't buy a lot of nude palettes. I don't wear a lot of nudes. This is one of my 50-50 palettes. The Venus XL2. This came a little busted. Again, during shipping, I know right there, it's so good to go. I don't. I think I have my problem is, is there's only one, two, three, one, two, three, five mattes. So what I recently did was I haven't been using them. I put those over. I put those over one of the light. The what shade? I put it over ripe that in the corner but one of the shimmers and I really liked it that way so I guess I'll have to start combining the the matte shades you know that's about 50 50 the shimmers are about meh we have care to become as we are oh, I love this that's such a nice palette look at that beautiful this is a this is it actually isn't that bad quite like this one too. Every time I come in this palette, I tell myself we're gonna do some of these shades, I go straight to this pink. <sighs> Can't help myself. Right to that pink. We have Weekend Festival. Oh, that was rosé all day. I got distracted with the pink inside. I love this. Mm. My perk or I don't know, the Kirk, Kirk, I don't know, I don't know, whatever that word is. These two, when you apply them on the lids, almost look the same. It's weird. I don't understand it. Oh well. Maybe it's because of how I zoom my eyeshadow back in. We'll have to revisit that. This is another meh palette. The Bret and Rock. Rock. <laughs> Nice wet and wild, my only wet and wild palette. And it's mainly, I don't know, I think it's because the, the shimmers are fine. Some of the mattes are a little patchy and you gotta rebuild them up. That was that little crick on there. Oh, we're going into the GVS. Oh, I think this is my favorite one. It's a Nubian Core 3 Coral palette. Oh, so pretty. Look at those shades. Oh, yeah, mixed with that gray. So nice. I'm, I'm going to have a mini tower visa. Hopefully, none of these fall. We have the Nomad. Again, I love this grungy, grungy look. Oh. Then we have the Dose, 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 Douche? I don't know. One of those words got to be right. I can't pronounce it. Oh, I think you can see what my favorite shimmer is in there. <laughs> and, for a and then we have the Warrior 3. Oh my god, I wore this the other day with uh, one of my ABH glitters. Um, if you want, I think I, I think I might do like a glitter swatch. 
So because I have 31 ABH colors, I think I might swatch them because some of them, they're still sold and then you still find them online. We have Tarte Pro. Oh, this was such a hassle to get, okay? Don't ever order from the site. I had so much problem with the site. When I'm filling with some simple mattes with a slight pop of shimmer, I rage for this one all the time. Sometimes I will mix the mattes with other palettes for shimmers. Oh god, we're really doing the tower of pizza right now. Then we have the TARDIS Pro Remix. I waited for this bad boy to go on sale. Oh, I love that purple shimmer. Such a nice, good shade. Then we have Smashbox. It's called LA Cover Shot. It might be small, but these are really good. You know, if you've been thinking about it, I say this. Yes. Also, the eyeliner that comes with it isn't bad at all. Last of my waterline all day. This is another so so palette. It's the avocado palette. Um, I think it is because it has so little mattes in there. But last time I used it, I really liked the outcome. Out, outcome. Out. We have Cat Von D Interstellar. This kind of, I've been really digging into this one. Like it. One of my favorite Cap on D palettes. Look at that artwork. I know a lot of people don't like this, but I love this. Oh, I, I, I don't know, I just really love this palette. I bought it when it came out on its came out date. Then we have Kylie's and pretty, so a lot of people's favorite palette go-to's. Mark Jacobs, Mark Jacobs Stiletto. I think that's how you pronounce that, that's so pretty. That's so super pretty on the lid. They have that up way too fast, oh, here we go. Essentials. A friend gave this to me. They don't wear it. But I used this once. I loved it. Then I bought the fruit sorbet one. I did not like that at all. This I like though. I don't even know what the difference was. Maybe it, because it came with the, um, the, what's that box you get? The monthly box that it comes with? Maybe because it came with that. I don't know. Maybe they had different formulas between what they sell in store and what came with. Oh, boxy charm. That's it. Then we have Tarte Spicy Betch. This is so good. We're almost done, guys. We have five more palettes and we're done. We have Smoke Sessions. I've only used these shimmers out of this one so far. And I'm storing it flat like this. So my thing don't bust. That's because I tell someone else that they were storing it. And so far, we're so good. I just don't want them to bust out of pan. You know, that I'd be so sad. On the bright side though, I guess I got it on sale. <laughs> we have Radioactive. These are all matte. They look shimmer, but they're all matte. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I do quite like that one. I've used it multiple times. This is Romeo Pinks. Ooh, I like this. It is, it's so so girly. Oh yeah, Bita. All right, I want Murat or Murat. I don't know how you. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's probably not how you pronounce it though. I really want Murat, but I can never get it on stock. And then when you look for it online, everybody wants like over two hundred. I'm like, whoa, no. My last one. Uh, one of my favorite palettes. They're all my favorites, but whatever. This the tart let's be a mermaid i've got ham in here i just love it oh, mermaids are my spirit animal all right guys we finally hit the end of the palette rain i hope you like this um thanks for watching